And lastly, to close this conference, I would like to hand over to our current director, Risa Wexler. Okay, uh, you've already heard a lot from me this week, so I'm gonna keep this very short. Um, let me start by just um, re-thanking uh, Roger and Tom uh, for their amazing leadership of KaiPAC, which has frankly the gave me uh, you know a situation when I started that it was already wonderful and um, really a truly amazing place. And this week for me has only like really emphasized how amazing it 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 is and and has been and I am confident will be. So so that's just. Um, let, let me just thank Roger and Tom one more time. Um, I just want to say a few words. I We actually already heard most of these things from Roger and Tom about, you know, things we're excited about. Um, you know, I'm personally very excited about dark matter. And I think KaiPAC is an extremely exciting place to do dark matter. We're leading on the WIMP experiments. We have this entire huge new program of Axion experiments, which is opening up orders of magnitude of things we might be able to probe that could be dark matter and all kinds of new ways to learn about dark matter from astrophysics. So KaiPAC is just a really exciting place to do this and uh, you know, also think about the theory. Um, we've heard a lot this week about cosmic surveys, but I think you know, we, we have been doing cosmic surveys, but the next decade is going to blow this up. It's not just Rubin. You know, we've got CMB surveys. We've got the radio surveys that we heard about coming. We've got ex new X-ray things. We've got Euclid and Roman. And I, I'm just like, I you know, sometimes I just wake up in the morning and I start thinking about the surveys that are going to come in, in the next decade. And it's mind blowing. And you know, Roger emphasized that we should also think not just about surveys, but about individual things. And I, I, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> um, and I actually, you know, I think we are going to learn. Uh, we're, these surveys are going to find interesting things. And then we are going to need to really follow the, those things up and think about the astrophysics. And, and I'm personally just actually really excited about how much richer the uh, landscape has gotten here at KaiPAC recently in terms of the breadth of astrophysics um, that we're able to think about. People like Susan and Kevin and many other people coming to really, you know, think about the, ask the deep questions about what is going on in every object in the universe. It's just, um, that part is really, really exciting to me. Um, as Tom mentioned, um, after many, many years of pushing, we actually have some institutional support for telescope access, which I could not be happier about. Uh, those of you who are in the room and are at KaiPAC, you will be able to apply for Magellan time soon. So I'm very, very excited about that. And I hope that that is just the start of what is really kind of a new direction um, for KaiPAC. Um, and you know, we've heard a lot about the data coming and I'm also very, very excited about the partnerships that we're building with our colleagues across the lab and across campus um, on these issues. I think my own view is we're gonna be doing science differently 10 years from now uh, because of the data and the way we are using AI. And I, I think we can be uh, leaders on that topic here at KaiPAC and I'm really excited uh, about that um, going forward. Um, so that is most of what I want to say. Um, I want to say happy birthday. Here's to 20 more years of discovery, keeping our minds open, uh, open to what is out there. Um, and thanks to really every current and former member of KaiPAC uh, for, for really making this, in my view, truly the best place in the world to do science in the presence of such an amazing community. Um, and before I end, I really just want to give special thanks to our entire administrative staff. Um, Christine is here, um, who, who was a key person in the early days of KaiPAC. Um, Andrea is here, who uh, has joined us a shorter time ago, but has already been making KaiPAC uh, work incredibly well. 
And I want to just give a special bit of my heart to Martha, um, who has kept the entire place going. And this one is for Martha. Martha, we could not make this place run without you. And thank you for this week, but thank you for the last, you know, 19 years. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and last but not least, I want to give another really special thanks to Dan, um, who really made this week happen. It was absolutely, I mean, Dan, I... I don't know, my, I would have lost my mind if you had not been here the last, doing what you did, but, but the conference was absolutely incredible. And Dan, it really deserves a huge amount of thanks, not just for the effort he put in, but the thoughtfulness, the exceptional people that he brought to give talks. So thank you, Dan. Thank you. And thank you all.